I want persons need to understand is that a decision that you make like that not only affects you, but it affects lives. And it is not good public health practice for persons to bathe, to swim, to have their dog, animals of any kind in a water treatment plant or on a dam. A dam a treatment plant, they are protected areas. And if a person is charged with the commission of such an offense and is found guilty on summary conviction, there is a fine of $1,000 or 12 months imprisonment that can be meted out to them. That was Nawasa's communication supervisor, Jamila Lewis. Lewis has given the assurance that the authority is closely monitoring the worrying situation and is working along with the police to address the issue. You know, there is not much um, in terms of security that you can do when your dams are in the river. But we will be working with the Royal Grenada Police Force to ensure that we continue to do monitoring at our facilities. Of course, Nawasa has an asset protection unit that is responsible for the security and maintenance of those facilities. So they will be doing our random checks. And of course, because of that particular situation, we will be beefing up our checks of those systems. Um, at this point, also, we want to continue to encourage the community if you notice any, you know, activities of this nature to please alert the authority because it just does not affect just Nawasa, but if it affects the quality of water supply that we will be supplying to you as an individual and the general public on the whole. The concern was raised by attorney Anselm Clowden, who has owned a farm in the Kokodi Mountain area for over 20 years. 5.30 in the morning, she goes up with all her dogs up a car filled with dogs and she bathed them and herself in the dam that the people of St. David's depend on for pure and clean water. The water from that dam that's on the watershed on the mountain is piped to the purification center at Ashington that's in Dudba from whence it's purified through a process of filtration and then it's distributed to the residents of St. David's. Clowden is outraged that the woman, who is said to be a British national, was previously cautioned by the relevant authorities. However, her unsanitary practices persist. He views her conduct as a lack of respect. A report has been made and I expect to have some action from now also with respect to this conduct of this lady. It's not the first time. It happened last year and she was warned, but she persists, thinking that no one was on the farm and no one would see her. But we fortunately were able to capture her activity. One of my workers, who is now permanently in Kokodi Mountain in Providence, has seen her for the past week every morning going up to the dam both Nawasa Dam and my dam. Others have seen her with the dogs swimming in the water that the people of St. David's drink. And I don't know why they come here with their preconceived notions of black people and abuse us and abuse our environment. Surface waters are treated to eliminate turbidity and bacterial contaminations originating primarily from the local environment. For GBN News, I'm Nisha Paul.